We are moving on now to the International Organization of Migration. I'm calling on Mr. Luis Hoffman. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the International Organization for Migration and Director General Swing, it's a privilege for me to address this fourth session of the Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. Let me also offer thanks in particular to the Swiss government and colleagues at UNISDR for convening and hosting this event. Human mobility plays a dual role in determining vulnerability and resilience to disasters. The capacity to move affords people the ability to reduce the impacts of some hazards. At the same time, disaster-induced displacement can negatively impact the ability of affected populations to mobilize assets, social networks, and knowledge essential to pursuing safety and well-being. IOM aims to protect people from forced migration by reducing disaster-associated risk. Where forced migration does occur, IOM strives to ensure adequate protection assistance for affected populations while investing in recovery to end displacement. In addition, IOM seeks to facilitate safe and orderly migration as an adaptive strategy that strengthens risk reduction, helps build resilience, and supports sustainable development. Based on these aforementioned objectives, there are three significant migration issues to our collective work in DRR. The first is unplanned urbanization, which is an important driver of disaster risk, but also a consequence of mobility. Migration to urban areas often causes rapid, unplanned urbanization to occur in areas exposed to natural hazards and environmental degradation. The second challenge involves the protection of migrants made vulnerable through the impacts of crisis, which requires the capacity at national and international levels to manage the large, complex population flows resulting from disasters while also providing adequate protection assistance to the displaced. Finally, the third issue is environmental change, which can degrade the livelihoods of vulnerable communities, threaten habitability, and in some cases, force unwanted migration with unintended consequences. These challenges highlight the need to integrate mobility into risk reduction policy discussions. As the consultations for the post-2015 disaster risk reduction framework move ahead, IOM is promoting innovative tools that further articulate the correlation between risk and mobility and between risk reduction and mobility. IOM and the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center, for instance, are developing models and indicators to improve data collection and reporting on the costs and the benefits of migration, including displacement. In this way, IOM supports research and data collection for evidence-based policies that better integrate mobility into more effective strategies to reduce risks and address vulnerabilities. At the same time, we know the investment value of reducing risk when measured against the costs of responding to natural disasters. We must work together to move away from expensive response-based models toward risk reduction models promoting the preservation of life and livelihoods while harnessing the economic potential of migration. Supporting a focus on human mobility will contribute to cross-cutting strategies for risk reduction and disaster response, and will encourage early investment in risk reduction, risk reduction through managing mobility options and a better focus on preparedness. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, with an ever-increasing number of people on the move, linking mobility, the environment, and disasters will be defining factors for societies and governments in the 21st century and for the post-2015 UN development agenda. Thank you.
Thank you indeed to IOM.